happy Friday the 13th. Who else tested their luck by going to see this movie? <laughs> Hey there, creepy peeps. My name is Nightmare Maven and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So happy you found me. Hopefully you stick around for a while. If you're someone who's returning, welcome back. Very happy to see you again. So as you can tell by the title already, I saw the new Firestarter, which is a remake of the 80s movie of the same name which is a adaptation of Stephen King's novel of the same name, neither of which I have seen or read. So going in, I knew literally nothing about this story other than it somehow involved a little girl with pyrokinesis, which isn't incorrect, so that's good. I feel like I never hear anybody really talk about the 80s movie too much, or the book for that matter, so neither have ever really been high on my priority list to watch or read. I'll let y'all tell me in the comments if either is worth my time, but if they're anything like this newest movie, don't expect me to check them out anytime soon. <laughs> right off the bat, this movie was boring. A little girl who can burn stuff with her mind sounds so cool. This was just like, uh, it just feels like nothing happened. And yet it also felt super duper rushed. Like it felt like one of those bad adaptations where the filmmakers are relying on the moviegoers to like have read the source material so they come in already knowing like all this rich backstory for the characters and the nature of their relationships with each other. But like it like as I'm watching it, it felt like I should have done my homework before I came in and saw this movie, which just in my opinion is maybe not the best way to make a, a movie adaptation. <laughs> Delicate balance, but you gotta kind of cater to both audiences, the ones who have read the book and the ones who haven't. I, I didn't feel any chemistry between the characters at all, especially the family, which I feel like probably should be the most important part, but it felt like milliseconds that we like got to know them before we we're jumping into the action and people are dying and stuff's happening. So, like I had no idea like the nature of like their relationships with each other. The only clues I got to their backstory were the sometimes awkward and frequently expository dialogue. But like even the villains were boring as fuck. Seems weird for Stephen King, which I can say now because I've, I've read a few of his books now. I feel like his villains are usually pretty interesting, pretty terrifying for the most part, and yeah, this uh, they were just so boring. Like the hired assassin, I could tell right away, is supposed to be kind of like a sympathetic character even though he's technically a baddie, but we don't know anything about him. And I could tell just the way the movie was treating him that we were like, we we're supposed to be like, well he's not all bad. But we know even less about like the like main villain, the Cap lady, the captain, Cap. She was walking around like she was so important. Like you could, like she was, she was feeling herself. Like the character, um, maybe the actor too, I don't know. Like she was a bad bitch. That was like the vibe she was giving off, but we knew fuck all about her. <laughs> Again, I could kind of tell the movie was like, the way they were presenting her was like, oh, we should be really afraid of her. But I, I didn't care what she did because I had little to no idea what her motivations were. I honestly couldn't even tell you if she actually wanted Charlie dead or not. I know she was like, the way she's selling it to Charlie is, oh, we'll teach you how to use your powers and all that stuff. But you know how villains are, like sometimes they just say that and they actually are gonna like eliminate you. Then you have the, the old guy with like his pixie sticks or whatever, who we meet in like voiceover during the opening credits of the movie. He was at least easy to understand and he was actually clear on what he thought should be done with Charlie, <laughs> but he's not the main villain, so it doesn't really matter. And the plot. The plot was also boring. <laughs> like the big fight at the end was super duper lackluster. And like leading up to it too, like Charlie like figuring out her powers and trying to deal with all that was just like, meh. Like it, it just didn't feel like we earned anything. <laughs> But not everything was boring. Uh, it did look gorgeous. I really liked the use of 
different colored lighting in the movie and I loved how dark and gloomy for the most part everything was. Score was far and beyond the best part of the, about the movie. John Carpenter went out and did the damn thing. It was very well done. But those two things alone would not get me to rewatch this movie because it looked pretty sure and I can probably just go listen to the score on Spotify. <laughs> it's been a while since I've watched something that was just boring. Uh, I, I feel like I usually feel pretty strongly about movies whether I find them really really bad, really really good, aggressively okay. I can see myself forgetting about this movie by next week. I really can't wait to hear y'all's thoughts on this whether you loved it, you hated it, maybe you also found it boring, um, especially if you've watched the original adaptation and read the book. I would love to hear your thoughts like how it compares. Me personally, I'm gonna give this a one and a half out of five. Not for me. So the ratings I'm about to show you are as of Friday afternoon opening weekend, so these are probably subject to change over the course of opening weekend as everybody goes out to see them. Right now on IMDb it has a 5 out of 10, on Rotten Tomatoes it has a 15% critic score, a 43% audience score, both of those are less than 100 reviews for context, and on Letterboxd it has a 2.2 .2 out of 5. That's fire starter for you. I, I don't feel too bad that I found this so boring because I really didn't have any expectations. I'm way more excited for Men which comes out next weekend so you can expect a review of that next Friday and it's just gonna be all movie reviews <laughs> for the next week because Monday I'll have a review of The Sadness which I am pretty excited to see also so fingers crossed neither of those movies disappoint. If you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumbs up. It does help me out you don't have to. Um, please leave a comment what you thought about Firestarter, what other movies you're excited for this year so I can keep them on my radar. And yeah, I will see you Monday with a new video. Until then, stay strange. Bye!